everybody, Tiffany Quinn here. Welcome back to the channel for your seven minute hamstring routine, which is gonna help you lift and sculpt the booty as well. You don't need any equipment for this workout. However, if you do have a low to height chair, I would get that ready. And if you don't, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how to do these exercises without. So before we get started, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel because we have a whole new series coming up after this, which I'm going to announce at the end. Are you guys ready to go? Let's burn it up. All right, so getting started with our workout in about 10 seconds, I want you to come down to the floor for me and just relax those shoulders down on the mat. Now hands are gonna come to the side. Let's dig those heels into the mat a little bit further away from the body and lift the hips up towards the ceiling in three, two, one. Okay, so from here, you're tucking the tailbone under, rib cage comes down, abs are tight, and we're gonna walk out, out, in, in, alternating each side. So we've got 45 second exercises today with 15 seconds rest between. And I want you to stare straight ahead and keep both those hips up towards the ceiling. They are in line with the sides of your mat. You're strong, you're powerful, and right off the bat, I want you to remember what your goal is, why you came here today, and work for it. You gotta work towards it. Seven minutes to get those results, guys. Let's keep going. Five, four, three, two on one, hold it out and stay up in the air for five, four, three, two, one. Gently bring yourself down. From here, if you don't have the chair, you're gonna lift and lower on those heels. But if you do have that chair, I want you to inch forward just a little bit, plant the heels into the edge of the chair, lift up and come on down. Great job. So we're off to a really strong start. And every time you come up, I want you to squeeze those glutes and really press into the edge of the chair to lift those hips up even higher. Same thing goes if you're on the ground right now. I want you to lift up as high as you can. Knees are about in line with your hips and we are really squeezing it out, working for that burn, working for those results. Now I'm gonna challenge you at the rest point. I want you to keep those hips up in the air while we switch into our next exercise. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up and hold, 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 hold. 15 second hold. Now you might need to inch yourself a little bit closer here and lift those hips back up into the sky, but I want from here to just relax the left toe on the edge of your seat or lift the leg if you're more advanced. We're gonna come down and up. Keep going, I'm gonna show you without the chair. So if you're not using that chair, you're still doing the same exercise. Lift and lower without that chair, keeping that leg in hover or that toe just tap on the ground. So you're only pressing through that right heel right now. Keep going guys, 45 seconds for each exercise. You can do this. And even if you're shaking just a little bit, that just means your muscles are changing. So you can feel the burn, which means you can feel the change. And all you have to do is stay here, push through and finish it off. If you can, let's hover that leg for five, four, three, two, one. And hold at the top for three, two, one, I want you to keep yourself in this position if you can, or come down for the rest. You've got that timer up there if you need to know when to come back up. And you're gonna dig that left heel in this time. Now remember, if you're just starting out, this is a little too much, just relax that toe on the edge of the seat, or hug the leg. Let's go down and up. If you came down, I want you to pop back up right now and work for those results. Tuck that chin in towards the chest, Squeeze those abs in tight, lift cage down, and lifting those hips up even higher. Come on, you can go higher than that. Tap the mat and bring it back up. So as you come down, I don't want you to stay down there too long. I really do want you to push, push for those results. Push past that burn, past that comfort zone. You can do this. Keep pressing. Five, four, three, two, on one, come up, and you're gonna hold it here for three, two, one. Gently lower yourself down to the mat, and that is it with the chair for today. So now we're gonna come into a reverse plank, and what you're gonna do, your hands are gonna be facing your feet, and they're right below the shoulder. Lift those hips up into the air, still digging into those heels. Let's get into position, and we are going to lift 
one leg at a time. It really is that simple. Just push through and keep those hips lifted. Now, if at any point you feel yourself starting to drop, I want you to just come down very quickly and then lift back up to re-engage. Keep those abs tight, lift those hips up high, and know that with every single rep you do, you are getting those results and getting closer to what you're trying to accomplish. Remind yourself of it now and push, push through, dig deep into what you want and work for it. Come on guys, five, four, three, two, one, and just hold here. The last five, four, three, two, one. Gently lower yourself down. So still in this position, I want you to flatten the feet down on the mat with a bend in your knee. You're gonna lift those hips up, and from here, take that left leg and pop it over your right knee. Come down and up. Now, you have two variations of this workout. And this is the last two exercises, okay? So really, really work for it. Now, if you wanna to, want to work the glutes a little bit more, you keep that foot a little bit closer, more focus on the hamstrings, extend it out further, and oh yes, you're gonna feel this. So I, your gaze straight ahead, chin tucked towards the chest, and really just knowing that you've got one more minute left, pretend you just showed up to the workout, guys. You're finishing it off, you're gonna finish it off strong because you know exactly what you wanna to get today. Come on. Another five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. You can shake those arms out real quick. I know, we're getting a little bit of upper body in there too, right? So hands are planted down, facing the feet. Let's lift up on both legs. Take that right foot and pop it over the left knee. Glutes, foot it a little bit closer. Hamstrings, walk it out a little further. Down and up. Each time you come down, really just bracing the mat with your butt cheek. You're not staying down there too long because you wanna get results, which means putting tension on those muscles. And the more tension you have on those muscles for a longer period of time, the more results you're gonna get, the faster you're gonna see that progress. We're doing an amazing job right now. We've got 30 seconds left to go, and then that is it. And then after this, stay tuned, because we do have a whole new series announcement coming up, which I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss it, because it is really going to change your results and how you feel about your strength. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one more. Do it. <laughs> Up and release it down. Woo! I think my butt might just fall off after that. <laughs> Congratulations for making it through the final workout of the Hourglass series. But don't forget, guys, that I want you to do this workout and every other workout from the series seven times through to start seeing those results. And guys, tag me in your progress photos so that I can feature you on my Instagram and congratulate you personally. I would absolutely love to do that. Three things before I announce what's coming up next. Number one, smash that thumbs up button for me so that I know you enjoy the workout. Two, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the new workouts to come, which come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Number three, share this series with someone else that you think they need it. You might just change their lives. So let's challenge somebody else to do it. Now, what is coming up next, guys, is a four-week summer shred. It is a strength-based focus routine. I'm going to give you a guide below so you know what's coming up when. And you're gonna have 12 workouts, each 12 minutes long, and every week is going to increase in intensity. This program is gonna be crucial for you if you're trying to tighten, strengthen, tone, and define all of your muscles. It is a full body program starting on Monday. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. It was so much fun hanging out.